Canab, joined. Jack, be quick. Joined. What up, G's? Coming up. It's coming up in 25 seconds. We're going to go live right now in a bit. I'm just setting up the studio here. Getting a couple seconds. We'll go up. What up, G's? It's your boy, Prophet74. Today, yes, I got this block here. So, uh, I want to talk about it, first of all. How you guys doing, first of all? Everybody, hey. What's going on? How you guys doing, everybody out there that just joined us right now? We're going to talk a little bit about the block, this water cooling system that we have. We're going to go into details. Uh, first of all, let me, let me show you how it works, all right? Um, water on the gpu let me grab a gpu actually so you guys can see a better understanding of the gpu i think i have one somewhere on here but in fact i do have one somewhere here let me go get it real quick check it out all right so if you guys are not familiar with this stuff uh on the gpu you prefer using fans, you know, and um, circulating air, uh, cooling down the radiators that cool down the GPU, CPU, that's based on the center piece. Um, now, if you guys notice here on the GPU, let me see if I could get that. Sorry about that. GPU has four screws in here that holds the CPU of the GPU, if you understand what I'm trying to talk to you and say. so. On this part itself, it heats up a lot, extremely. It goes up to almost to 90 degrees. Depends on on the on the weather and the conditions that you have. If you don't have any of the stuff now, this particular one has three fans, three fans running all the time, so it cools down the radiators that are on the side. Now, if you want to eliminate this and go for a water cooling block, where water transfers into this system. And, and it's a, it's a much better system because you don't have, you could overclock the GPU. You could do all sorts of things on the GPU with the water cooling system. Of course, uh, it's not recommended all the time, you know, messing around with this stuff, but, uh, it's good to know about these things, you know? So right here is the heart right here. In fact, this is the main heart where it actually sits on the CPU of the GPU, if you understand. So this part right here sits right here on this side and this gets water intake in here it goes in here and this side if you guys see it right there and it goes out through the back in here now these things if you guys notice this one's dirty inside it's it's super dirty right now um, if I want to reuse this one the water is uh, a little contaminated in there it's contaminated a lot of the substance and if you can see like some substance growing in there, it's um, it's like moldy in there because of the water that I actually left in there for a while. Because this is going to be clean and reused. Um, this is a, a for a 1080 T, a 1080, not a 1080 Ti. It's for a 1080 Nvidia 1080. So if you have a 1080, this is perfect for you. It's a big block. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's plastic on the outside metal piece in the center piece of course, you know And it's one of those things that we're gonna open it up here in a bit So you guys have any questions Jack Jack be quick. You have any questions? Canab you have any questions on any of this stuff that we're gonna talk about the GPU or anything? Um, I got a couple of cameras here so you, you guys can see a better angle of, of what we're gonna do today We're gonna open it up and we're gonna clean it up. I got a bottle of alcohol here one to drink, one for it, <laughs> just to drink. I got air blower, so in case we dry it up too. 
And I got a couple of napkins that we're going to do use too. So I'm going to put these on the side here. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the the the, the things that happen here. So in, in reality, the, the thing that I wanted to do is it's a GPU. Let me show you a better understanding. I'm going to bring this camera closer, guys. Hold on. It's going to be a little closer. Let me see if how long I could get of an angle. Yeah, I could get a bunch of angle. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to bring this camera in here. So you guys can see. All right, there we go. There we go. Let me get that camera. Now the GPU, there we go. The GPU is right there. The water cooling system that goes into the pipes. The pipes circulate the water and goes into a radiator in the back. And it pretty much keeps it separate. So you see that's the water block that the GPU. This one's a 1080, uh, actually, and that's for a 1080 Ti, I'm sorry. That block over there is for 1080. This is a 1080 uh, video card, NVIDIA 1080. Um, but the one that I'm going to set up that we're going to clean up is for a 1080 Ti block. So, and so the water circulates through this system. This is the actual pump that pushes the water. The back of, it, it sucks it through the top, and it pushes out to the bottom. It goes through the GPU. From the GPU, it goes through the from the CPU, it goes through the GPU, and from the GPU it goes back to the radiator. So, let me make sure that you guys got this angle right. Let me go back to the main. So here we go. Now on this case, um, this is for a 1080 Ti. I'm sorry, it's not for the 1080. This is an actual 1080 Ti, so this is compatible with a a, a, a G, GTA Ti. You see that it says um, 1080 GTX Ti. So it, 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 you got to read the manual what's compatible with this system, because not everything is compatible with this whole unit here that we have in here. So today we're gonna open it up and we're gonna clean it up because it's a lot of filth in there. So let's see how many. So if you guys see it, let me see if I can put the camera a little bit closer here. See how dirty it is? It's all the dye right there. You guys see that? It's all the dye colors that are in filthy. They're filthy, dirty. And, and of course, we do have the piping that, that comes in here and goes out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to use this card no more. I might have to just give it away because um, it suits me well, to be honest with you. It was a great system, but I don't think I have the... The necessity of using this system no more because I'm um, I'm moving on to greener and better pastures. I'm actually gonna get an RTX card, uh, 2080 Ti as soon as um, a couple of months I would say you know I'm trying to save up for that money for that system. So uh, it's for it's very expensive right now at the moment. So we're trying to see if I could if I could save some money so I could buy this on the side you know and, and maybe add an into another system itself i would do that but right now at the moment i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that so let's go ahead and open the sucker up all right so here i, I i'm gonna take all the tools out i'm gonna scroll them all out let me make sure you guys can see better yeah that's better move this out of the way move this out of the way move this out of the way that's better. That's way better. That's a better angle. And we're going to start the other build too. Also um, on a couple items too. So let me. These are all the same. These are uh, one base. So just make sure before you start. Make sure you have all the tools ready. Because if you don't. Then you're going to leave. Uh, you're going to have to scramble and get your parts. Because you don't want to lose these screws man. Water's gonna start leaking if you do that and just be careful when you open these up. There's a seal There's a seal in between so just be aware that if it if it opens up You got to make sure you got it nice and tight, but not too tight because if you do too tight you might break the the plastic Not the seal not the metal but the plastic So 
Right here, they're all the same, like I said. Every single one fits perfectly fine, you know? It's nothing big. And remember, guys, if it's your first time out here, help the channel out. Please subscribe. So we're going to remove every single one of them, all right? And sometimes you do need a sharp objects to, like, kind of scrape some of the paint, you know? But you don't want to scratch it too much to... Um, to display to uh, um, expose the copper you don't want that because water and copper do not match now this is not even copper it's stainless steel but on the older versions you might find them with copper uh, in fact when I when I was drilling some of the older version of the of one of these blocks in one of my channel one of my shows I did um, it, it did expose some copper so in fact it's it's behind me it's the one that's exposed with the copper because that card was incompatible with the steam. That's why. It's funny. All right. One more. I forget the main one up here. Because if you break it, it costs a lot of money to break this stuff. You know, it's, this is a, like a $250. But they're getting cheaper. Like I said, they're not going to be that expensive. Uh, let me see. I think I got all of them. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And this piece came out right now. I don't even know where it belongs. Jesus. I opened it up so fast that it just flew off. Where does this go? <laughs> Anyways, look how dirty it is. And it's wet, too. I just got to figure out where the hell did this part come out. This actually looks, I think I know where it came from. It looks like it came from here because there's some radiator parts in here. Yeah, it's right here. It came out from here. There's the part. That's where it uh, belongs. So I'm not sure what this is for, but remember, it looks like the Chevrolet sign. It belongs in here. Um, the reason I found out is because uh, it, it has a silhouette of it. And this thing is super dirty right now. So we're going to go ahead and clean it out. Let's start with the block first. The way we're going to do it, like I said, get some napkins. Um, don't use any cotton because cotton messes it up it, 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 especially on the radiator part so I'm gonna make it look nice and shiny new look how dirty it is jeez look how I didn't know how dirty it was gonna be I thought I'm gonna spray it a little bit just a little bit it's, this is fine it's just Nothing happens. It's all it's all alcohol anyway, so spread the love there. I just don't want to get any fuzzy stuff in there too, so I'm trying to damp it in there. Make it nice and shiny like it used to be before. Yeah, I'm going to run some more on it so I won't, I could damp it in here because I don't want to... Whew, I'm getting high at this. That's one piece of paper. Let's get another one. Jeez, this thing was super dirty. I used it for a month, to be honest with you. And then after that... Uh, um, these things get to clog up. If you notice how the water flows, it comes in through in one. It comes in through here on one section, and it drains all the way around. But it actually filters through here to this system here, and it goes around. And it comes back in here, but it has channels, different channels, to slow it down. Because um, when you slow it down, you want to make sure it cools down everything, including the the main important thing, which is the CPU from the GPU. Now everything's coming down in this way, which is good. Jeez, these things are dirty. I wouldn't use a cotton ball to be honest with you, you could because um I'll, I'll show you what happens. I just don't want to demonstrate to you because then the cotton gets caught in here, and it, it you don't want to run it with dirt in there. You want to make sure that it's clean. Uh, I normally would do this in a clean room to be honest, or somewhere where there's less better conditions than here. But today we're just going to free run it anyways. It's going to be a gift anyways for somebody out there. So 
I care. I care enough to see it follow through. So you see it? It's nice and clean, nice and shiny. It looks really, it looks like it's a brand new one. Now we're, we are gonna also clean this part too, so. Lone Star, hello. Hey Lone Star, how you doing man? We're just cleaning up this water block. I'm showing people how to clean the water block. Um, I'll be playing games later on, but right now I'm just more of the... I'd like to do some technical talks first about your gaming system. This is for a 1080 Ti water block. It, it's... Uh, the maker is called... I forgot the name of it, but I have it right here. It's called EKFC. GeForce GTX FE water block that's what it is and it's for a 1080 ti and um it, it served me well to be honest with you i i thought i had to take it off because um it, i didn't have another pump in the house so i actually had to take it out and um i'm cleaning it like if it was brand new so that's what i'm pretty much where i am right now and pretty much this piece goes here not here it goes here like this so that's what it's go but before that I want to make sure I run it through here make sure there's nothing this piece fits perfectly in here which I like make sure there is nothing blocking it in there maybe that's what it is for because it, it's it's in there for a reason it might be a tool to clean up the steam which is a great thing because um I, I don't have anything thin enough to run through the whole thing and of course it runs pretty good and I, I think it's a I think that was a tool because it just this it doesn't serve anything to be honest with you it's just like a Chevrolet sign pretty much that's what it is and um, let's see if I could get this clean more so I think that's what it is for it's like a little raid a razor which is neat because um, getting all the stuff out of it um, I'm gonna give this away actually that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give this water block away guys it's gonna be part of a gift because um, I have no need for it it's just collecting dust here and it's it's going to waste if I don't have it if I don't give it away but you're gonna have to win it it's not free you're gonna have to win it let me put a little bit more alcohol in here just a little dab of it and you know what, what I always say? Don't be afraid to open anything up. It's only money. Money. It, not everybody has the money, but you know what? It's okay. It's it's not going to be the end of the world if you mess it up or anything. I mean, people learn from mistakes. It's okay, you know. Learn. At least you learn something. You learn your lesson not to do it again. You learn a bunch of things, you know. And right now, I, I put I put Lone alcohol. Star. Did you say we had to sign up to enter on last stream? Yeah, not not on this one right now. I'm actually going to finish it on the weekend. So hopefully by Saturday or Sunday, I'll have the stream ready so you guys can sign up for the stuff, all right? And um, let me make sure I don't... I'm spreading out the, all the freaking... Yeah, I'm going to have a sign up. Uh, I'm working on it right now. And I'm going to be ready to publish, but I'm kind of hesitant on a bunch of stuff. Lone Star, okay. Yeah. And one thing I was thinking about, you know, that the, uh, G, G, um, the Logitech one, it's very expensive, that one. I think I'm going to hold that one for another contest because I, I don't know. If we don't get over 100 people at least signing up, I, I can't give that one out. But I'm going to give the rest of the stuff out at least, you know, and maybe hold it off for December for Christmas maybe or something, you know, but... I'll think about that one still because it's it's pretty pricey on that one and if I don't get enough um people to sign up I can't I can't give that one out. We need to we need to have some sort of um that's why I'm going to put a uh, the screen uh of the screen right there. I understand. Yeah, but this is going to go out and this is 250 buck block, right? Um it might be cheaper now, but this is a for a 1080 Ti. And that's why I'm cleaning it up because I'm going to give it away, guys. I'm going to give it this away. I'm not going to hold on to this. This is a stainless steel. It's brand new. I used it for maybe a month, like I said, you know. But it's still good condition. Great condition, you know. And um, 
whoever's going to get this is going to get us something really good. You know, we're not just going to give any crap out. Um, but the bad thing about it, it doesn't come with a video card. You're going to have to buy your own video card. But what it, you could do whatever you want with it. Put it on eBay, do whatever you want. It's up to you guys. But um, if, you, if I was you, I would maybe build a machine around this thing. Because this is a great item to have. And it's pretty quiet. I'm letting you guys know it's really quiet when it runs. Uh, love it. If you guys like a lot of noise, then that's that's up to you, you know. But it's really good. So I want to keep this one drying so it could dry up. And let's bring the other part. This part is the secondary part on here. Put this in here. This is the second part, and it's dirty. But just remember that this is part of it. Don't forget to put it back exactly where it was because then the water is going to leak. And, and it's very fragile, so don't mess it up. This is the part that you don't want to mess up, right? Just remember how it goes, right? And here's the part that we need to clean up because I use the red dye and I'm using it actually in the back, if you guys know it. So I'm going to show you how it works, right, with with, uh, with alcohol. So the way it works, I'm going to drain it a little. I'm going to add a little bit here. Oh, oh that's too much. Oh, it's leaking back there. All right, so the way it works, see how it goes in here? It comes through here. It passes through this circuit here. Let me clean it up here. It's too much alcohol. I put it, I, I can smell it. I was gonna think I'm drinking or something out here. <laughs> so it comes on this side. Let's see if I could clean it good because it's hard to get some, some buy. I'm gonna leave some alcohol there in there for a bit. Hopefully it'll bring the dye out. But overall, it's going to be like a brand new one. I'm not going to give you guys just any cheap old stuff that's going to start leaking. So um, if it does leak, open it up. You guys know how to do it now. So let me make sure I clean up this mess too. Ooh, I throw a lot of alcohol here. Whew. I'm getting a buzz out of this, man. But the stuff that I talked about, all the stuff I'm going to give away for sure. Um, including the... The new system we're going to build this week. And I think I'm going to build it if I have. I'm, I was looking for the parts today to finish the build. And um, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the parts. So we could start building this stuff. So I had to come out with plan B. And plan B was this, to be honest with you. Plan B was this to run this with you guys for a bit. And um, give you guys some education if you ever, if you win this. Or if you ever have one of these, you know. Which is great. Because um, once in a while, like I said, they need to be open. They need to be loving. And if you don't do this, it clogs up. So I went to a store and they had one of these. And it was so clogged up. It looked like arteries, right? When you eat too much butter and shit like that. It looks like a little bit was passing through. And it was getting stuck. You were not getting enough. It wasn't getting enough of fluids. And it works like a human body. Pretty much the same concept, you know? But in this case, it's it's just more like a... Um, more like a... Uh, dye in water you know it's not even water actually it's it's contains um it's mineral water pretty much that's what it is um it's um what do you kind of it's i forgot the kind of water they put it's like a water cooling water you know but you can't drink it so <laughs> so be careful not to mess with that so right now we're cleaning this whole setup in here it looks pretty neat i decided to give this one out man because it's just collecting dust here and i didn't want it to to go to waste so somebody gonna get this sucker somebody lucky but like I said if you don't have a 1080 Ti you might have to build around this and maybe build your 1080 Ti and buy the 1080 1080 Ti's are still expensive right now because they still run as good as a 10 1080 just a, 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 a 10 I'm sorry a RTX 1020 it runs almost the same as a 1080 Ti to be honest with you so I mean, the, the the numbers are in, and it looks like it's not a big difference on that one with that card. So 1080 Ti is still a, a still contender, to be honest with you. And prices are gonna drop on the 1080 Ti, so maybe you wanna get a 1080 Ti. Who knows? You know, it's it's it could be up to you guys. So let me get a brush here. I gotta actually brush a toothbrush somewhere in here. No, I don't have a toothbrush no more. Jeez. So, we do have some more that we could remove in here, which is great. Let me remove the other ones. Uh, so, we could get some more out of it. 
I didn't even know about this one right now until I saw it right now. And, and these are replaceable. I actually have a bunch of these screws. But like I said, you don't want to lose them and then replace them. Um, it's one of those things that you want to make sure you keep everything together. Oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't know you could take the whole damn thing apart. Shoot. Making my my job easier. So this is this is pretty neat. So I'm going to keep these two together. Because I don't know what size are there. And it looks like the whole thing comes off. Wow. It looks like we're going to clean it out completely today. See, it has three screws. I didn't even know that. First time. First time for this, man. Honestly, first time opening this sucker. First time everything, to be honest with you. Um, seen one video, but they didn't give you too much of info of what to do. It was just a basic... Um, Hey, you know, you can always open it up and that's it. But this time I'm going through the whole thing. Opening it up. Talking about it. And. Oh, hey, there it goes. These are different sizes, so you got to make sure. And, and look at the, the glass, too. You, It's not glass. It's it's uh, plastic, right? So make sure that you don't go through all the way because the screws are actually there. You can actually get a better hold of the whole thing, which is great. Oh, man. I love this. Look at that. Look at the dye. Look at the color that I got out of it. It's crazy. And I'm not going to do a completely thorough clean because there's some stuff that I might not even reach. Let me see if I have this. But today we might be able to reach everything. Who knows? Who knows if I could. Remember, no cotton on there. Try to avoid cotton because it will clog up some of the stuff and um, this is actually pretty good I'm surprised they opened up the whole thing and that's how it's supposed to be it's not a clear throw right so there's a couple of red in here but to be honest with you it's not a lot um, in fact I am very surprised that the whole system came apart now I am gonna clean this one thoroughly and this is the water block in there if I could pass Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Definitely, I like this. This is I, I this is a good block. I I really like that part. Look at that. You can see how it passes through all the the whole thing. I like that. So this is really good. It's clean, simple. Oh yeah, and it's alcohol, so it evaporates even faster too. So it's one of the things I I like to. Air dry it. That's pretty much it. That does it, man. Yeah. This is pretty cool. I like this. This is simple, man. I, I really enjoyed this one right here. Uh, see, there's some fluid I throw in the back. Nice and clean and everything. Has that logo. And this is for a 1080 Ti. And let's put it back together. And the way it works, it's the same way, same method, but this time, you got to remember, it, it can't go this different ways. You got to make sure how it was, and then this is the logo. The logo's in the back, and the entrance is right here. So I remember how I set it up, and um, here it is right here. I'm going to screw one in first, and then the other end, because I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> no pun intended. Remember, look, you can see the screws, how, how how you're passing them, penetrating. Try not to screw them too, too much in there because you could break the plastic. You could crack the plastic and it could be a, it could be a, um, what do you call it? Water could leak through there, could be compromised through there. So you got to make sure that, that you don't tie it too, too much because you don't want to damage it's a gpu we're talking about and if you spend like six seven hundred bucks five hundred bucks on a gpu you're gonna damage it and in it's not there's no money back guarantee on that they don't have they don't have any money return for um refunds for water that leaks in those things and believe me they have ways of um when their water leaks on the gpus they have a sticker that changes color it's a little tiny brand. It's in the in the system. 
if any water penetrates it, it, it you can tell the color changes from it's the same thing like batteries too in, in phones it changes colors and it tells the the vendor hey you know what you drop this in water or water compromises now here's the hard part now if you guys see that the plastic it's already lined up in here you're supposed to line it up on this part here let me line it up you line it up in here right see how i'm lining it up and make sure i'm gonna move this on this side it goes this way but you gotta make sure to it's like a, a puzzle piece you see that but this time it goes this way i just noticed that i was doing it the wrong way but just find the way and it's simple you know finding it the proper way to set this it's just a simple thing to do it but it's, it's very fragile to move because it moves easily so when you place it make sure that you 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 run your finger through it first because and make sure it's like a smooth it there's no indentations or any bumps in there and like for example I, I right here is a bump right here that I'm trying to push in there looks like everything's in there see that it fell in perfectly and like I said, water comes in here and the chamber comes, it comes in through here, it comes in through here and it goes through this little cycle. This is where the GPU sits from the CPU and then it cools down the water either way, either direction. If it comes out, it, it comes out cool water because this thing cold plus the water radiator in the back that cools it down, which is a plus. Now we're ready to marry the two pieces. And this piece goes on the other side because I had to flip it. So, oh, and I still need one more. I still need one more, actually. I still need the the base of it, too. So, um, I am going to put this back. Hold on. This piece. I need this piece right here, which I forgot to, to set up properly in here. And this one doesn't light up, but the other one does. I like the other one. This one this one doesn't have any, any RGB lighting. I'm going to move this on the side for now. But the other one, the other version I have, it does. I'm trying to line it up properly, and it seems like I did it wrong. Oh, here it is. There it is. So it's just a simple puzzle piece, but you could screw this up too, like I did right now. So let me make sure that this lines up properly. And if you have one, I will clean at least once a year, dude, because um, it's, 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 it was bad. And that was a month, man. <laughs> that was a month. Like I said, I've been going to the store and they have it and they have one in there. Damn, I can't even put the damn screw. They have it in there. And um, it seems like it's clogging up. And, and if you have different color, color of dyes, it's even worse. So sometimes it, it depends on the dye that you have that you installed. Oh, you know what? This is easier if I just do that. It, it depends on the dye. Some people co have these colorful ones that they produce like they get a little gluttery in there. And this is going to work perfect. Yep. It's all dried up already. Um, like it never happened. I see a little tiny bit of red, but you know what? Ain't gonna hurt nobody. It's brand new. I had red dye on my system, but I didn't get the red dye, the the thick red dye. I got the the water one. It's just the water um, um, dye, but still made damage with it by coloring some of it, which I I wasn't very happy with that. And uh, I know this other one that I have in the back of me, it's probably gonna do the same thing. But I'm not going to worry about that until a couple months, a couple of years, maybe a year from now. I'll probably go in there and, and remove it and clean it out and do another video on that. So we're not going to flip this one. We're going to actually bury this one in the back. Make sure that this piece is in here. This is the one that kind of came off. So it kind of flew off on me. So we got to I, I, I don't know if it was in this side, but let's find out. No, it was pretty much on this side. Because I know the radiator. This is the one piece I didn't know, but it's for cleaning up the center piece. That's what it is. It's the only reason they put it there. Now, in this way, see how it's it, you got to marry, marry it properly, and it goes right in the center of it. Let me see if I could find the center. Can't see it from my angle here. I got to get up at least. There we go. There we go. That's where it goes, and it's... Let me marry one of the screws at least in there so we can make sure that it's married properly. Okay, that's one screw in there. 
I'm not gonna tie it up because in case I gotta move things around, I'm gonna tie another one on the other end. And I wanna see it, make sure that before I tie everything in, that nothing's loose in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna move around, make sure it's all tight, some of it. Not yet, but just enough to get it going. So here it is. It, you see that center piece? It's right there. It does belong there because it, it sits in perfectly fine in there. It just it marries with the center piece, this part of it. And everything seems like it's correct. Even the even this part, I even see it that it's. Well, you know what? On this one, I see it's a little bit off. Yeah, let me let me open it up. It's just a little tiny tiny bit off. Uh, it might be like that, but I don't want to take chances. That's why I didn't tie them all up. And that's why we're going to go back in there and make sure that it is properly set. Um, eyeing it is the best thing to do, you know, just make sure that. Because, like I said, it's a water block that we're installing in here. And it's, it's going to damage your video card if there's a water leak. Well, I don't like to run it right away. I like to keep it. See that? The thing, whole thing came out, too. Shit, I got to redo that. Well, that's fine. Now we know. I'm going to put this on the side. We go in here. Clean it up. I think this is crooked. That's why it was. It can't be flipped around. It has to go in a certain angle. And it was flipped around on one area. So I got to make sure it, it doesn't flip. If it flips. There's two parts to this. There's a flat part and there's a curved part. And the curved parts was giving me a problem. But... We're going to fix this sucker. We're going to fix it right now. Yeah, it goes this way. The flat part. Oh, they're both flat on both sides. I'm just trying to be perfection because, I mean, I don't want to damage anybody's card, you know. It goes this way. There we go. And it has to be flat in both ways. There, It's a flat both sides. So I'm going to eye it some more right now real quick before I even set, settle. Oh, you know what? It's a little gap in there, but it's like that. And it's as long as the plastic is there. I guess I was a little bit anal about it, but, you know, better to be perfect than have some water compromise, compromising the system here. All right, seems like it's settled, and there is a little tiny gaps on two corners, on all the corners, but it's part of it. I thought it was something that I did, but no, that's how it is. So let's go ahead and marry this sucker, and this thing goes here in the center. We go back to where we were. Let's marry there. Come on, there it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, settle, settle, settle. We're not touching it yet, because if you touch it, there we go. If you start touching it, the plastic sticks. There's one end. Make sure we get the other end. I mean, you can make mistakes, but not this critical mistake, right? Make sure that that you are aware of what you're doing on this stuff and clean it up. If I was you, I would run through it first, you know, on the computer for a couple minutes and keep watching it. Because that's what I do, even if it's brand new. Because out of manufacture, you don't know where it's being made or who's handling this stuff. You gotta make sure that people are aware that when you buy shit, they don't know about lemons, but there's lemons out there, you know? There's lemon trees out there. I'm telling you, it's just, I bought some stuff that I, I was so impressed with it. And then when it got here, it just fell apart. And I was like, shit, you know, some stuff is not made to last. And not one off the bat, you know. Especially when I shit from Wish. Wish.com. That place is junk mostly, man. They sell pure junk shit. But once in a while, they do have some nice stuff, you know, that works the same way like other things. But half of the shit I buy from there, it's all junk. It's all novelty shit, you know. That's what it is, you know. And um, today I wanted to play Creed. Have you guys seen that that game Creed? Um, it's a it's a VR game. I want to check it out, man. But I kind of re, re readjust my my green screen here. So if I play, I'm not gonna play with the green screen. I'm gonna play with regular. 
because we're having that LAN party and I'm preparing that shit. I'm doing my studio here where we're going to have um, everybody seating together and, you know, we could talk and do all sorts of crap, you know. So that's why I'm trying to prepare this stuff and I'm trying to make room too at the same time. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, do you guys like models? Do you guys like any kind of model figures? Like, you know, collect any models? Well, I collect like certain models I have, like, you know, Star Wars and, and Predator, stuff like that. And I was talking about, I'm going to start making them. Um, you guys don't have to tune in if you want, but I was thinking about making them during live, during the show here and painting them and you know, doing all that stuff. But it might be tedious and it might not be fun and stuff like that. And it's not too much to game. Or I was thinking about doing another channel regarding just, just models, you know, just that kind of stuff. I want your opinion. What do you guys think about that? You guys something that you would like to see in the show or maybe in another show? Because I don't want to mix up something that might be too boring for some people and might be fun for others. But, I mean, it just depends on the... on the. I think I'm going to try it once to see how, how it hits. And if it doesn't work, I'll just do it somewhere else in another, another venue. Lone Star. That would be cool. Yeah, because I do airbrush. I do airbrushing. I have um, these models that are expensive models, you know, but you got to put them, to, they're tedious. They take forever to do that stuff, you know. And um, most things I was debating about it. I don't want to know if people want to see that, you know, or anything like that. But it's one of things I, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get it together and work on it. And I think the first one we should do Bubble Fit. You guys like Star Wars Bubble Fit? I bought this Bubble Fit like back in 1995, I think it was. No, no, 1990, 98 or 99, I think I bought it. And it's been unboxed in there. And it's very expensive now, you know. But uh, I was thinking about it selling it. But then I was like, you know what? I should start build building my shit and putting it up here. I have so many models that I haven't built I have a big giant Millennium Falcon that's huge, that's worth a lot of money. And um, I was, now that the movies came out and everything, it became really popular. But I was thinking about it. All right. Well, this is the finished product already. It's clean. There's water still retaining here because of the sponge that I have here that spills some. So, in fact, let me clean it. Let me dry up the sponge somewhere else. Yeah, that's better. So I got it clean. This is for a 1080 Ti. Uh, all the plastics look well. All the all, it, it looks well fit back in there. It looks clean, way cleaner than before. Um, so the water comes in through here, comes out, circulates to the seat, the the cooling, and then it cools back out through the back, which is uh, this one. Now your CPU on the GPU sits right here. And also these blocks are going to be blocked out too. They're for cooling the other pieces. And there's there's um, some stickers, um, um, thermal thermal tape stickers, you know, that we have. They're going to be included. But other than that, this is going to be uh, one of the gifts. What do you guys think? Lone Star, you like something like this? You want to start your project? Your, your computer? What kind of computer do you have to begin with? This is a nice start to a big computer, but you need to have the funding. This is for a 1080 Ti. It's a water block. It's called a uh, GT. It's it's not that big popular, but it's becoming now. And everybody's going to the water cooling system now. Let's see how much this sucker costs. This costs, let me see. I'll tell you right now. Maybe the price dropped or something, you know. EK. Lone Star. That I just bought a F1080 SC. Is it water cooling? Let me see. All right, this one dropped price. It used to be two hundred. It's one hundred and fifty bucks right now. It's not bad, you know. It's one hundred and fifty bucks. You know, bigger uh, beggars can't be choosers, <laughs> but still, it's a good one. So we're gonna put it back in the in its Lone Star. No. Well, this is your start right here, Lone Star. We can start right here, man. You gotta win, man. So we're gonna put this sucker back in here, and it's okay. It's wet a little bit, but it's fine. I'm even including the the freaking cement in here the instructions all the instructions are in here 
and including the thermal tape that I never even used, I think. I used one or two because I, I have a whole tape on it. It's all going in here. I'll put it in here so in case it won't get wet too much because it's a little damp. But it'll dry up. It's just... Oh, yeah. And I'll throw on all these screws in here along with this. Um, I don't think it belongs to this, but we'll find out. I don't think so. Oh, no, this is for the actual GPU, but we're going to keep it in there for now. And it's brand new. I mean, I used it, but it's considered new. Honestly, it's considered new for me because it's like I used it for maybe less than a month, and then I, I swapped it out. So that's how you, that, that concludes the whole cleaning of it. If you guys ever buy one, suggest open it up once in a while, once a year at least. You know, if you're not familiar with it, Maybe consult your manuals before you do that and uh, also check out other videos similar to this because your video card block might not be the same of course every block is different um, this one's pretty neat I like this one because you can actually even open up the, the top piece which I wasn't expecting that but it's ready for you guys and whoever gets this is uh, it's it, it will be proud to have this but it could be a doorstop for some of you guys and it could be a price for some other guys you know so then that, I got nothing else to add other than that. I'll come back later maybe if see my homies are playing today. Uh, and maybe we'll come back and play some some games or something, make it more fun. But right now at the moment, I didn't, I didn't see anybody earlier. I was trying to spot and see who's going to come up and I would have joined them. But right now, there's it's pretty dry. Everybody's waiting for their, their game. They're all waiting for the game, which is um, everybody wants their crack now. They're like, but... Just to let you know, Tuesday, we're going to play games. We're going to play, uh, I, I like the game that came out of Assassin's Creed, so we're going to get that one and we're going to check it out. And we're going to see the gameplay because it looks pretty badass. I was watching this this chick that was, you know, fighting sharks in the boats and everything. I was like, damn, man, that's some good stuff, man. So we're going to check it out and see how it goes. Other than that, that's your show for today. It's just a quick one, but I will come back probably later. And bring some more content, some more gameplay, and also mix it up. I'm gonna start playing some um, indie games. If you guys like indie games, I I love indie games. I have a lot of them. Um, I haven't played them yet, but I'm gonna start. Anyways, that's the show for today. Right now, for this moment, this is a, a little how-to, and maybe it could assist some of you guys. And if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right? See you guys. Good night. Lone Star, later. later.